Hi friends, my name is host Eric, I'm the host of Talking with Famous People, and during a live stream last night, Jaxi asked an interesting question which he got from TikTok. A guy walks into a store and steals $100 from the register without the owner's knowledge. He then buys $70 worth of goods using the $100 and the owner gives $30 in change. How much did the owner lose? Pause the video now and try to answer it yourself. And resume the video now. Okay, so, uh, Men Like Gods guessed $200. That was his first, first gut response. And I would consider that to be exemplary of fourth slot NI. Not meaning to throw you under the bus here, Men Like Gods, but it's jumping at the fact that you add 70 and 30 and 100 together, you get 200. Without really considering the interactivity of the things. And then I said $130 and that's because I was somehow imagining Jack having paid seven tens to the guy and then getting 30 back in addition to the 30 he has it left in his pocket but he wouldn't get change if he paid with seven tens and it says here he uses the hundred. So after I reread it I said 131st I said no a hundred. And the reason being, the way I worked it out in my head was, okay, he's got a hundred bucks here that he's stolen. He uh, then gives a hundred dollars back to that guy, so now it's even. Then that guy gives him thirty dollars, plus he's got seventy dollars worth of stuff, so that's a hundred bucks. And then I said, of course, that's assuming the goods out the door are what they, the store paid for it, or something like that. Or, you know, you have to take into account markup, perhaps, but I, I don't know. If you just wanted to ignore that part of it, it would be $100. So, Davey takes that point as well, which is that it depends, right? So, I would say what I demonstrated there is ignoring an I with a TI tool. So, my ignoring an I ignored the fact that he only gets the 30 and change if he uses the $100 bill and skim through the fact that he says using the hundred. Um, and but my TI caught it. So I NI wrong. You know, or failed to NI correctly. Uh, didn't fail to note something that was an NI significance point that that made me guess wrong first. But then my TI caught it and corrected it. Um, now Oliver Linehan, interestingly displays what I would consider to be the best NI of anybody with his explanation which is well there was only one crime one hundred dollars was stolen so that's it four hundred dollars and you don't need to do any of the thinking through the thing if there's only one crime of stealing one hundred dollars then whatever else happens after that that's not criminal doesn't impact the total bottom line of, of loss to crime, right? So, Oliver Linehan is an ISFJ, but in this instance, you could say that perhaps what's going on there with Oliver Linehan is not really NI, but rather SI. It's positioning the events as um, as independent experiences and evaluating each event separately from each other and noting that, well, there's only there's one's a crime, there are no other crimes here, so it must be just that one crime, right? That that's that's the best answer in this case, and it would seem to be something a little different than NI. Even though we might say it's the most intuitively satisfying answer. It's uh, it's oddly lacking an intuitive resonance to it because it, it for it to have more of an intuitive resonance to it, he need to say something like the first thing's a crime, the rest of the stuff is just a red herring. In other words, 
then we'd understand it from the perspective of the question asker or the question asker or <laughs> the question asker <laughs> um, was putting in a bunch of extra information that didn't do anything just to get us distracted by that information. And then we conceptualized it as, as a question that way, I suspect, uh, is one way of distinguishing between excellent SI knowing and how eight slot introverted intuition kicks in as needed, right? So he starts with what he knows about each step of the experience or each experience isolated from the other steps of the experience and then the intuition kicks in that that's the determinant factor. So don't underestimate 8th slot NI and don't underestimate SI DOMs when it comes to intuiting stuff like this as evidence file over line hand ISFJ. Uh, 